You guys remember in my last Q&A when I said that Jerry Recycled Batteries was very important to Lightning McQueen and he was actually the one who brought McQueen to Radiator Springs? Well, I have another theory for today's video and this one may be a little bit more widely accepted. My theory is that Echo and Bravo saved Dusty Crop Hopper's life. If they didn't find them, Dusty would most likely be dead. And I know that sounds harsh, but it's pretty true actually. And later in the video, I'll explain exactly how Dusty was saved by Bravo and Echo. But first, let's introduce the suggester of this video. Thank you for the suggestion, Caleb Duprest. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. If I didn't, just let me know how to do so in the comment section below. And if any of you out there would like to make a suggestion or a birthday request of your own, please watch the video in the description below. There's a link to it right at the top. And in about 11 minutes, you'll know how to make a proper suggestion. So let's jump right into their appearance. They appeared in the first Planes movie, and if you saw that movie, everything that I'm about to say will make a lot more sense. So, Dusty was flying from China over the Pacific Ocean to Mexico in the Wings Around the Globe rally, and Zed, who was one of Rip Slinger's henchmen, swooped down and knocked off Dusty's navigator antenna, which obviously he used to navigate. So, obviously then, he got lost essentially, and if he did not come across Bravo and Echo, he would most likely run out of fuel, crash into the ocean, and sadly, but yes, he would die. So thankfully, Bravo and Echo found him because he was flying close to the USS Fleisenhauer, which is the aircraft carrier that you see there in the background, and they directed Dusty to the carrier, and then he got refueled, and then they basically shot him off the carrier, and he was back on his way until he crashed again, but that's a story for a different video. We're just focusing on Bravo and Echo. So basically, they were the two planes that found Dusty, brought him to the carrier, refueled him, said some stuff, and basically that was it for them. But it was very, very nice to see them in the movie because I feel like they were just some great characters to add. I believe that their actors were from Top Guns, which I actually never saw, but I know that's pretty well known. So I'll just throw that in the video there. And now let's talk about their release. So in 2013, which was the year that the first Planes movie came out, both of these were released as singles. They weren't in the initial waves, but Mattel didn't take that long to release them. Bravo was released first, I think, in late July, and I actually believe I found him in a mire in Michigan while I was on vacation, and a couple months later, Echo was released as a single as well, and I believe he was in the same case that Rochelle was in as well. And I actually do have Bravo in the package from 2013, so let's take a look. It's kind of damaged, but I got for a great price included with something else, so I don't mind. It says Disney Planes, Bravo over on the side. We can see his art, and also says Disney World of Cars. And on the back, we can see some other releases like Dusty Crop Popper, Zed, Chug, and Bulldog. And the description for Bravo reads, International flying superstars compete in the exciting wings around the globe rally. Navy jet fighter Bravo keeps the sky safe during the around the world air race. So it's nice that they gave each of the characters an individual bio. In 2015, they were both re-released as singles in the USS Fleisenhauer series. But as many of you know, the 2015 planes were very sparse. Not many of them hit stores. So in 2016, they were re-released again, also in the USS Fleisenhauer series. So you might still see some of those hanging on the pegs. Although 
the planes on it has been very, very morbidly slow lately, so it's kind of possible that the planes on has been cancelled, but who really knows at this point. Their last release I have to talk about today is the 2014, late 2013, I guess, 4-pack exclusive to Target. The 4-pack included Jolly Wrench's Dusty, which is this Dusty right here. Very, very cool. Hector Vector was also in the 4-pack, and of course, Bravo and Echo were in the pack as well. I like to call that pack all of the vehicles who saved Dusty Crop Hopper's life because really, Hector Vector also saved Dusty's life because he was the helicopter that escorted the scuba diver Pity to save Dusty. So I guess you could just rename it the Lifesavers of Dusty Crop Hopper plus Dusty Crop Hopper himself. Now let's move on to the die cast themselves. So let's start here with Bravo. Now if you guys don't already know, their names are taken from the phonetic alphabet, which basically is a military callout system. So you guys have heard of it before. We have Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and it goes on from there. And we actually have Bravo and Echo, obviously. And more recently, we got Delta and Tango. Let's start talking about Bravo now. So, he has a silver helmet with blue lightning bolts. And it does say Bravo on the helmet in white lettering, but it's very small. You can still read it though. Now, I'm not a big fan of his expression, but I guess you can't really do much with Plane's expressions because their faces are so small. Now, on the side here, it says 113. He has these straps with the Jolly Wrench's logo on it and the Navy emblem. VF-17, I believe that code is on all of these jets that are associated with the Jolly Wrenches, JW-13. We have the Navy logo again. And one feature about most planes that have a single front wheel, it folds into the base. So that's very, very cool. The back ones don't do anything, but for a $6 item, you cannot expect much movement. I'm very happy that Mattel actually included this movement in the front wheel here. It's kind of hard to get back out, but you just kind of got to grab it on the wheel itself and then yank it out of there. Come on. You got to get some leverage, man. My hands are just slipping off of it. There we go. And now let's check out the back here. We got the thrusters, some nice yellow checkerboard designs on the tail wings, VF-17 down there as well. So pretty cool. And here is that little hole that you can use to connect the plane to planes play sets, but they don't really make any planes play sets anymore, unfortunately. Now, getting to Echo, who is my favorite out of the two of them, and let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. I think it'll be pretty balanced. I just like Tango's, not Tango's, what am I talking about? Echo's helmet and his expression. I got them mixed up because they both have red helmets there. So. Echo does have that nice red helmet, and it does say Echo in white lettering there on the helmet itself. And VF-17, it says, actually it's a little faded there on mine, but let's check out the other side. 210, VF-17, Navy emblem, straps with the Jolly Wrenches logo. VF-17, 10, JW, the skull and cross wrenches. So to compare him to Bravo, they have different numbers there on the tail wing, but the rest of the decals on the tail wings are identical. Here's another difference. Echo's 210 and Bravo's 113. Echo's front wheel also folds in, as you can see. Man, they are very, very hard to get out though. I just tried it a couple seconds ago. Oh, wow. Wow. That was easy, but when I was just trying, it was pretty hard. You have to get at the right angle and just kind of hoist it up and then 
pull up the rest of the way. And so now let's compare these two to Tango, who if you want to see my entire review on, you can check out his review in the description below. There's a link to it and Delta here as well. So I guess we'll just take one at a time. Delta is number 727. He has yellow tips to his missiles, whereas Echoes and Bravos are not painted. Let's check out the back. Looks like a little bit different design here with the decals, but the same information is conveyed. So there's actually a pattern to the numbers. The last two digits of this number is the number in the back. So we have 13, last two digits are 1, 3. Same with Echo, one zero, one zero. We have Delta, two seven, two seven, or maybe that's two one, not really sure. It's kind of hard to tell, but on Tango, that's actually not the case. He is seven zero nine, so theoretically, it should be zero nine on the tail wing, but it's actually, 13 so that doesn't make much sense but actually out of all of these jets here tango is my favorite because i really do like the red tail wings they just look very very nice and they stand out from yellow 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 so that's all for my review of echo and Bravo, let me know in the comment section below out of Echo and Bravo, which one is your favorite? And I guess you could also answer the question, which jet, Echo, Bravo, Tango, or Delta is your favorite? So thank you very much for the suggestion, Caleb Dupress. I hope the video lived up to what you'd hoped to be. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday for another video. See you guys then. Bye now.